Hi there, my name is Matthew Beaumont, and this is Learning Ye 2, a video course by Pact Publishing. I've developed hundreds of websites and web-based applications using the LAMP stack for a variety of clients over the past eight years, and for five of those years, I've been using the Ye framework. I've created custom content management systems, e-commerce platforms, and even a large-scale recording catalog for the University of California using Yi. I also published an article for SitePoint.com to help announce version 2 of the framework and demonstrate some of its key features. This video will serve as a comprehensive introduction to version 2 of the Yi framework, which will help you create secure, flexible, and scalable web-based applications. Version 2 of the Yi framework was released on October 12, 2014, and is a total rewrite of version 1. Yi 2 was developed in order to take advantage of programming practices and tools that weren't available in 2008 when version 1 was released. If you have experience with Yi 1, then some of the concepts discussed in this course won't be completely foreign, but you will learn how the framework's authors implemented them using modern tools, such as Composer and Codeception. Throughout this course, we will demonstrate the various features of Yi 2 in order to craft a foundation for a dating site for a very underserved portion of the population. Monsters. Before we get into the guts of the framework, we will learn how to set up a virtual server on our PC, and then install the Yi framework on that server. Then, we'll learn the basics of configuring our application. Afterwards, we'll take a look at some of the tools that Yi provides to speed up the development process, but without sacrificing quality. In addition to code scaffolding and debugging tools, we'll look at how Yi integrates closely with Codeception to generate automated tests for our application, because no one wants to see what happens when Medusa's profile picture gets cropped incorrectly. Once we've done that, we'll move on to the nuts and bolts of our dating site by creating our first monsters and learning how to create a safe environment for them to meet their soulmate. Then, we'll try to make our application less beast and more beauty as we look at how Yi handles front-end assets. Moving right along, no dating site is complete without a way to search for matches. So we'll see how Yi handles database interactions, and then look at a few ways to spruce up our search interface. Finally, we'll look at a few of tools that Yi offers to help our undead bachelors and bachelorettes put their best face forward, such as image manipulation, email integration, and internationalization. And if you've ever seen a first date between a vampire and a werewolf, you know they can use all of the help they can get. By the end of this course, you should feel comfortable using the Yi framework in your own projects. You don't have to have any experience at all with the Yi framework to learn from this course, but you should have a pretty good grip on the fundamentals of object-oriented programming, and PHP in particular. So if you think Frankenstein and the Wolfman deserve to find true love as much as the rest of us, and you want to help them succeed, let's get started.